Well, dealing with vision loss, it can be very difficult. Some people, they're hesitant to tell their employers or even or even tell their families and friends about it. Yeah, support and services for the blind and visually impaired do exist, and they'll be together in one place this Saturday. Rachel Carver and Donna Fost uh, Amen are here with Outlook Nebraska. Good yeah, to see both of nice you this Nice to have you back, Rachel, and yes. Donna, good to have you on the show. Uh, this Thank is a, essentially a resource fair, right? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, uh, how did this concept come about? Yeah, when you go through vision loss, it's, it's, it can be kind of scary, and it's hard to find the resources that you need and find solutions. Mm -hmm. And so we thought it would be a great idea to bring all of the resources that are local together in one place to make it simple for people to find the answers mm -hmm. to their questions. Rachel, you and I did a we did the Help Center um, and I, yesterday, and so some of our viewers might have seen that. If they did not, I wanted to speak to this point about what people are going to find specifically, some of the things that you thought were important, some of those resources to include in the fair. So at the fair, you are really going to find solutions for vision loss that will work for you. Um, anything from organizations that uh, help you learn about um, computer screen readers to job training and job resources, different transportation options, magnification devices, anything that can make life as a visually impaired person easier. Mm -hmm. well, I think the technology um, aspect of this is really important. What type of new technology has come out to help the visually impaired? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot. Like, I mean, even your cell phone, uh, there's, there's so tools on your cell phone. Bananas. The major, I think what has helped us all come a long way is what you just said, smartphones. Mm -hmm. um, anything from being able to read your, your bills, your money mm -hmm. with a $10 app to um, an app that allows you to read a menu at a restaurant um, mm -hmm. to color identifiers. Um, there really is, there really are a little bit of everything mm -hmm. on a smartphone. How do those apps work? So you download the app and then um, it, it reads the menu or you hold it up and scan it? Yeah, so um, the KNFB Reader app, that's what um, that app is called. And you just, you go to the app store, it's $100 to purchase it. Mm -hmm. But when you think about by the time you buy a computer and a scanner and the software, you're looking at over a thousand dollars, and that's not portable, and right? And the difference yeah. it makes in your life right. is and tremendous. I mean, it's priceless mm -hmm. at that mm -hmm. point, right? Donnie, we've talked about technology too, you know, because some people. I was telling you about um, a relative of mine who mm -hmm. sort of developed vision loss a little bit later in life, and you just you have all of these adjustments to make, and it's like mm -hmm. your head almost spins. Like, how do I? learn to live in this world when right. I've well, got even, all this happening. Even finding about the, finding out about those resources mm -hmm. is hard tough. to do because mm -hmm. in a case where you've lost your vision, mm -hmm. you're not aware of what's out there. Yeah. And, and in the case, in my situation, my father's losing his vision. Mm -hmm. How do I find the information to help him? And that's yeah. the idea behind the resource fair, to bring all of those resources together in one place at West Roads Mall on Saturday. Mm -hmm where you can come and, and learn about the solutions that are available to the blind and visually impaired. So whether you are a adult child mm -hmm. or if you yourself are losing vision loss and if or a family member is losing their vision, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity can, to get there. Can you speak personally about what your family is going through? Because your dad's vision is becoming impaired a little bit. Is that, is that right? What are the challenges? He, um, he farms, mm -hmm. he still farms. He lost his sight in one eye to cancer several years ago and the other is going to macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it creates a lot of uncertainty for you as an adult child, unsur unsure of what their needs are. Mm -hmm. And he's not always real open with us about what his vision really is yeah. like. Mm -hmm. And so this would be an opportunity if he were local for me to bring him along or me just go and learn what mm -hmm. the opportunities are, what the resources are, and what kinds of questions I can ask. And, and for employers, I'm sorry, because I'm thinking about in the workforce, Rachel, that's something that you're really passionate about, mm -hmm. is for business owners and managers <coughs> to understand what they can do, um, what, what, your, what people who are visually impaired or blind are capable of, using some of the technology to mm -hmm. employ some of those folks. I mean, can employers come to this fair this weekend too? We definitely want employers to come to mm -hmm. this fair because with some, if you think about the big picture, putting magnification software on a computer, if that means you can keep an employee that's been there for 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be not only a great thing for the employee, but also a great thing for the employer mm -hmm. because you, you get to retain that, that loyal employee. And if you do that for them, they're not going to leave. Mm -hmm. Right. 
But for many folks uh, going through some sort of impairment, not like your dad, I mean, he's not just a stubborn old farmer, right? <laughs> there's a lot of people who are, who are, well, he may be, but he's just, uh, there's a lot of people that are afraid to talk about it. So getting this out in the public, mm -hmm. just talking about it is one of the goals for all this, isn't it? It is very hard. Um, most people, when they go through losing their vision, it you go through a denial period of where you don't want to talk about it, don't want to acknowledge it. Um, I've been blind all my life, so I can't speak through that personally, but I have known people and seen it happen, and it's it's tough. You, you go through that, and um, we hope that this Vision Resource Fair will help start some of those conversations mm -hmm. about, hey, it's okay. it's okay to talk about it, and here are some ways that um, my life can become a little bit easier and get mm -hmm. going again. Use the tools mm -hmm. that are available tap into the resources that already exist. You're not alone in this. Um, and so if, if you want to go on Saturday or if you are the son or the daughter or the spouse or the boss of someone um, who is experiencing vision loss and you want to go and just get some of those, sort of wrap, wrap your mind around what's available locally and then you can take that to the, the loved one, the important person in your life. Um, it is on Saturday at West Roads Mall there in the Von Mar Court. Thank you both for being here. Really appreciate it. And we'll send mm -hmm. our viewers to your website because there's mm -hmm. a lot more information yep. online. They are doing some awesome stuff. It's yeah. great to have you here. Yeah, good to see Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Rachel. Bye. Thank you, Donna.